Hi, my name is Kevin Garber. Thank you for joining me. I'm the CEO of Manage Flutter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through the new follow and unfollow features. As you know, or you may know, Twitter has forced us to remove our bulk follow and unfollow features. So I'm going to walk you through the new version that we have released today. As usual, when you log into the system, you are able to see all of those people that are not following you back. Um, now, you are able to still unfollow these people. You just won't be able to um, select and unfollow them in bulk. This does nothing we, um, at this stage. So you are able to unfollow many at a time pretty quickly. So if you if you click on them, um, if you click on one, it does rise up. So you can just leave your mouse in the position and the, the screen rises up. So you can just actually click in the one place uh, many times. So in that way, you can still actually process quite a lot of unfollows quite quickly. It tells you, the system tells you um, how many that you've unfollowed today. That goes up so you can track that. Usefully, um, you can undo the last if you need to and you can, cle can keep on undoing the last going back quite some way in case you click on that button by mistake very exciting that um, we now have are able to help you exclude people that you have followed um, up to since uh, the last 30 days and more I'm not going to talk um, a lot about uh, this feature and what this gives but a lot of you have been asking for it so uh, if it's relevant to you you'll know what I'm talking about there is a separate video and a separate blog post about this so this is the standard unfollow feature um, at the moment um, and you're still able to process quite quickly um, what we've done we've included something called an entertainment mode where um, if you are processing a lot of follows or unfollows you are able to either watch a playlist we've put together with some night nature and history videos you can watch um, NASA TV which often has interesting bits and pieces we actually put together a podcast every two weeks about tech and tech economy and social media you can listen to that while you process this line follows and my own personal favorite is you can actually learn Spanish while you um while you process all your follows and unfollows with each word with each unfollow or follow um it pops up a word and it will actually I don't know if that came through but it actually gives you an audio of it as well so that's quite a, a useful feature if these entertainment mode features are popular we might actually um, add more so that's entertainment mode so this is the standard um, unfollow that is the default unfollow at the moment we have included um, another mode called batch select so it's still in beta we're still just trying it out and we're waiting to get feedback if I switch this batch select on what you're able to do, you are actually able to select many accounts at once. Um, you can't unfollow them all at once, but what you can actually do is you can send them into a separate queue, into a separate bucket, so to speak. Um, and let me just let those go. You can see it says these accounts have been saved for unfollowing later. Now, if we go to the process queue, you'll see there they all are. Um, now, what I can do is I can either just click on the button and it will unfollow these one by one or I can either hand this over to a staff member um, to say hey there's some follows and unfollows in my queue please go in and process them all or what we've actually included um, we've actually offering you the facility we're still getting this going but we're offering you the use the facility to actually hand that over to us and say I've filled up the queue with people that I want to follow and unfollow um, please sort this out for me um, a very nominal fee we're sorting out the pricing but we're keeping it low then we'll be able to action these for you we will have humans inside our office clicking these for you so everything's twitter compliant um, and legit and we will be able to action these follows and unfollows for you on your behalf and clear out your queue for you and this can be useful for you if you're doing follows and unfollows on a regular basis and uh, you'd like to outsource it so to speak for us so this this is the um and this is the multi um the batch select mode 
um, which is still in beta. But as I said, the default mode is having this batch select off where you're able to unfollow one by one on that side of things. If you want to have a play, switch the batch select mode on and you'll be able to push follows and unfollows into the queue, so to speak. Importantly, please send us your feedback. We have had to put these features together really quickly. Um, so we wanted to get something out and get feedback from you folk. We really appreciate the support to date. We still hope that the, the system and this feature in particular is going to remain useful. And we look forward to iterating and improving it over time. So my name's Kevin Garber. Really appreciate your support. Keep the tweets coming. Keep the email coming. And um, thanks for choosing Manage Flutter.